Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here back again with your weekly fishing report. Now, we are pretty much in that almost fall transition, full cool nights now, cooling down that water temperature. So, fishing's actually picking up. Pretty good uh, reports coming from all over the area. Uh, and a lot of different things to go for, whether you're going for rockfish, uh, bluefish, even those uh, mysterious puppy drum popping up everywhere. There's a lot of things for you guys to go out there. Now, this upcoming um, weekend doesn't look the greatest with the wind, but if you're shore fishing, surf fishing, you can still get out there. Uh, and there's also plenty of stuff to do in the freshwater side of things. So let's start off with the upper bay here. Uh, rock fishing right now, it's going to be pretty productive once again mornings. Um, Whenever in the middle of the tide changes, you might find some breaking fish. But right now, we're still going into the mornings. And it's kind of expanding now. Anywhere from first sunlight to about 8, 9 o'clock, you will find some fish moving through the area. Uh, you know, top water around the shorelines, stick baits like the Rapal X-Raps, etc. Uh, and then if you want to pull out and then go a little bit deeper to the channel edges, you might find some breaking fish. Uh, you know, one ounce metals, three quarter ounce metals, uh, you don't want them to be too big uh, color wise, you know, match the hatch. So like a silver side color, greenish tint, or even for bluefish, pink has been pretty good right now. Um, other than that, you know, jigging around the Bainbridge pilings is producing some fish. Not a lot of keepers, but you can go through a lot of, you know, undersized fish and find a few keepers, especially around the sewer pipe area on the eastern short side. Once again, you want the tide moving either incoming or outgoing. Perch fishing around the Bay Bridge pilings is always productive. So if you're trying to fill up the freezer before it cools down a little too much for you guys, get out there, use some sabiki rakes and you will find plenty of perch. And once again, some of those mysterious puppy drum. There's been a lot of puppy drum being caught around the areas by people fishing for either rockfish or perch. And there's a lot of decent sized fish out there. I've seen it anywhere from Patapsco, Magathy, Severn, Stout River, on the eastern shore. Anybody that's fishing around the shorelines with either small spinners like the perch pounders, three to four inch paddle tails, and even on some uh, bait for the guys uh, fishing out of Sandy Point, Ma uh, Mattapique, and Romacoke, they're by catching some fish between, you know, 15 to like s almost keeper size 18. And surprisingly, I've even seen some slot size rats, um, 20, 25 inch fish. So those guys are going to be around for a little couple, maybe a couple more weeks here. Once it fully cools down, they might start pushing out. Of course, everything's feeding right now on all those, uh, you know, peanut bunker and silver sides. And once again, tide changes. That's critical there. Um, for you guys, surf fishing once again, uh, there's going to be a lot of options on where to go now. Uh, pretty much everything in the, around this area is going to be pretty productive for your striped bass. Cutting up spot, bunker, peelers are going to be the best thing to use out there, all those three. And then, of course, your smaller baits like uh, clams and bloodworms for your uh, perch. There's still some spot around, so you can still live line the pilings or whatever you want to feel like live lining. Uh, trolling will start to become more of a thing for you guys covering water since those fish are going to be pretty spread out and moving uh, once, you know, we get to the next few weeks here. So umbrellas, if you're north of the bridge, I will troll some plastic umbrellas or even still the spoon umbrellas. Uh, if you're south of the bridge, I will st stick to metal until probably uh, October to see if those bluefish are still around. And there are plenty of them, believe me. There's been plenty of uh, breaking blues or just bluefish in general south of the Bay Bridge all the way obviously to Point Lookout. And they're pretty decent sized fish. Fish being caught out there up to like 25, 27 inches long. And those are pretty big sized blues, whether you're they're like three to four pounds, maybe some five pound bluefish out there. So plenty of those around to go around. Mackerel, unfortunately with this uh, temperature drop right at like Poplar in those areas, uh, I kind of push the bite down. If you're gonna catch any, it's gonna be maybe down towards the target ship, but those fish are on their way out, unfortunately. Um, Rock fishing, again, once again, around Poplar Island is pretty hit or miss, but always worth trying those rocks for some topwater rock fish or just in general. Uh, as you move south, you start to find a little more speckled trout becoming a little more active in the uh, you know, eastern shore islands. Uh, and plenty, plenty of people catching blues once again down there. Cobia is still in the area. Not as much as starting to kind of trickle down. Obviously, the season is closed for them. 
but there's still a few out there. So before it cools down completely, get out there. Crabbing seems to be on and off. Uh, if you're catching crabs, they're pretty uh, hefty, uh, but there's still plenty of time to go out and do it. Once again, uh, it's gonna be pretty heavy crabs if you get into some uh, this time of the year. So make sure you get out there and do it right before the season kind of winds down here. Uh, and that's it for your fishing report, guys. Uh, have a good one.